Hey, so we're back in this uh, tutorial map uh, I made where I started out with a lake and uh, eventually I might just make a city out, out of this and uh, give it out on the forums for you to play in. So what I'm going to do is make a harbor. Someone asked how do I make a harbor. Um, first level uh, level your terrain uh, sorry uh, you, you you need to uh, lower your terrain um, before you can do anything because obviously you need water so let's level this out very roughly um, okay we want this area to be rather large okay like this and uh, that's it really so let's add some water Ta-da! now you have the ocean on your doorstep um, I want to smooth things out before I continue so let's make uh, more like um, a beach area here on the edge I might want to raise the terrain first so I can uh, actually have something going on here. As you can see, you can barely see the ground underneath the water. Okay, we'll smooth this thing out now and uh, just continue on our uh, tutorial, the main task of today is to make this harbor. Okay, that's that's the beach. Well, I just I cannot stop this. I, I have to add some few a few details. I use the erosion tool here to add just just a little bit of detail, make it more interesting. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's jump over to this harbor area. I've never built one, so this is uh, uh, this is a trial and error thing for me. So let's go into uh, there. We go harbor. Uh, that's in the add props uh, through the place objects menu, and we'll find. Uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, let's find the industrial. So let's let's place a few of these. Uh, I wouldn't think it was uh, was strange to see these kinds of uh, of tanks and warehouses. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, I I have a call today, so uh, let's see. Uh, we want to have a warehouse uh, in the city I live in now. It's not uncommon to see warehouses with with those rounded tops so I'm I'm in favor for those um, so let's build a few of them yep those uh, look nice and uh, let's uh, let's make some fancy piping and uh, a few other things going on here to make it Look more interesting. Oh, this one looks nice. They might not have anything to do with each other, but um, they sure look kind of cool. Now uh, it looks, it's starting to look. Um, starting to look a little bit advanced here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's leave it at that and uh, jump over to the harbor stuff here. You have uh, cargo ships, cranes, uh, boat piers, containers, uh, bollards, forklifts, etc. So <clears throat> let's start with uh, with a crane. Uh, this 
I prefer the newer one. It's uh, it's closer to what I'm used to uh, from this city here. Um, actually, first I'm gonna use this level terrain and make a very very sharp edge here, if possible, like so. Be very careful when you do this. Uh, it's easy to, let's say, run a, overdo it, make a, make a, um, um, make the cursor jump one cell or one square too far. Okay, so I'm gonna make a clean cut here. Oh, there you go. I made it too far. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. If I can do this right without screwing up again, like the last tutorial. Um, I guess that's it. Now we have some very, uh, a very clean cut here, and we can paint this in with uh, industrial concrete. As you can see, it's. Uh, looking rather nice on the edge here with uh, with this concrete in place and we'll just leave the last part here out uh, to be natural I like that and we'll continue over uh, this area Let's see I'll make a smaller brush here yeah and you might not know this, but um, the way you can make uh, the or the way you can erase things, you can see obviously I I made it too far here. You you, you can be on any of these brushes or uh, or surfaces uh, and right click, then you erase back to the the grass, which is the base. Uh, let's see. Um, I want to place the crane uh, along this, this this area, so I might have to remove this tank. Uh, so I have the ends. Let's see. I have the end track of the tracks here, and I uh, I'll place the other end here and make the tracks in between. So let's see if that matches up. Really, I would. Oh, that matches up really nice. Um, oops, gotta redo that, I guess. Okay, so next, let's add the crane. Oh wow! Hey, developers, what's going on here? Why is this crane? Too big for the for the tracks. That was weird. So um, let's see if this okay. The small one is is better for this purpose. So okay, I hate it, but I I really wanted the, the new one. So let's add two cranes then. Uh, let's see where can I use the big crane? Is it possible to? Okay, let's let's try something. I don't know if this will work, but uh, let's. Okay, it does. So let's make this track in right here and here. Now we can have two small cranes and one big. Maybe that's not real, realistic, but. I'll do it anyway for this example. I'm gonna paint more of this industrial concrete. Doesn't match up with that, so let's paint the other. Okay, that would fit better. Um, I wanna have 
like industrial concrete wherever, wherever the uh, the ocean side is so I'll make a barrier here really. You have to be really careful when you do this so you don't have to paint more than you actually need to. Yeah, I wish. Uh, okay, this is a request for you developers. Uh, what if you could constrain things like hold and shift and click and drag and be sure it wouldn't go all over the place? That would. Uh, that would be really helpful for uh, for making yeah, either roads or or painting stuff. Okay, there we go. Let's paint some more over here. Yeah. Right. Like that, that's uh, that's starting to look a bit better. Um, and we may probably add uh, some other details here, like a forklift. That wouldn't be so unusual. So let's make um, let's add the forklift over here, and we want to make some containers container parking area uh, notice that th where where these doors are so you don't so you don't stack them up like this and then you have no doors on either end uh, I like the details of doors being able to uh, to to see them And as you can see, they change colors automatically. Now, I want to stack the, these containers on top of each other. So, I press page up. And the container jumps on top of the, the one below. And if you didn't know, uh, to, to rotate things, you right click. That's it. Five in the way, and uh, yeah. whoops, that was far out. Let's let's make a few containers on top of these again. As if some of them are actually taken away and uh, stored elsewhere or on a ship or I don't know like that um, you see this I have a bad habit of, uh, <laughs> of making things symmetrical I don't want symmetrical so, uh, so let's delete those and we'll paint some more uh, some more of this concrete with a larger brush so it doesn't take so much time oh, no I painted it on the camera, I shouldn't but that doesn't matter, we can fix that in a moment um, let's use a small brush again I don't want to go all the way to the edge with this. I think that looks looks like a good beginning. Um, let's see if there's any decals I can add here, like uh, scratches and grit and uh, different kinds of things that will make it look a bit more interesting. Yeah. Use different 
different kinds of of this decals. Make him go everywhere. Oh, I need to paint some more. Yes. So th this is uh, is really just detailing all over the place. You you, you don't have to spend a lot of time doing that, but I like to have I appreciate it uh, I really appreciate it when uh, someone make oh that didn't work I think that's for some kind of bricks. Please developers could you could you name this so I so I know what's what they do or what they are supposed to be. Um what was I gonna say? Uh yeah, I really appreciate it if a level designer has put put so much attention to detail into uh, a small area, so you can really feel that, or think, or believe that, wow, this uh, this is really a miniature city or a miniature harbor. Make it look really, really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna make a bit more of this. Uh, this edge here. And the same with this. Okay, and I'll make <coughs> I'll add a little bit more uh, warehouse stuff. Okay, let's let's go with this one. Yeah, this one really looks like something that could. Uh, uh, be some kind of machinery or a uh, uh, house, the forklift. Okay. And then to the fun part, we're gonna add fences. Uh, I'd like to have some metal. Uh, yeah, I'll take the chain link fence. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, this one is that was weird. Can I? Okay, let's go with this one. What does this one look like? I don't understand why they do that, but um. Let's try this. I guess this one is diagonal and this one is Whoa, it's all over the place. So Okay, let's go with that one then. Oh uh, wow. Yeah, someone on the forums uh said that adding fences was a pain in the ass, but doing it this way. I uh I've I've done some three D modeling and I tell you that takes a huge amount of time. Okay, that's interesting. I cannot uh, I have to delete it and uh, play something else there, but I'll do the fences first. Undo that. So now I just hope. Yeah, it just goes right outside of it. That's that's really nice. And we should make sure to have uh, at least one one side open so people can get inside of this area so they can work and transport their things with forklifts, obviously, or we could force them to um okay, let's have an opening here that would uh, look nice yep I 
Yeah, I'm not gonna fence all this, but uh, I think you uh, I think you get the idea of um, what you do, uh, how you do it, and uh, get things uh, working out for you. We can place these bars. I guess that's for ropes to hold the. Uh, All the boats in place. It's those little details like this that really makes the scenery or or your map uh, believable. It really is. And we should add a boat. Well, <laughs> I guess uh, I guess it was a little bit steep, but never mind. Um, you can actually place a boat in the air. That would be cool if it was lifted up by this crane. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, what you could do is add a few boats to this area, and uh, I'm sure uh, there's something I've overlooked. I'm sure there's. Uh, other ways of doing these these kinds of things. Uh, I've never built a harbor before, so this was uh, basically you looking at me possibly screwing up. Um, the detail freak I am. I, I really like to have some details in here, you know. <laughs> I just cannot resist. Some minor details in here with. Oh man, that is so cool. Those small details like this really makes makes the scenery come alive. Um, you can have crates and wow, this is uh, this is really great. Brilliant. Uh, there's the pallets that would uh, that will look better along with this pallet jack. Let's see if we can put one. Well, we cannot pile it on top of the other. That was. I could seriously go on and on with this. Uh, this is so... Uh, I love adding details like this. So I think I'll just leave it be and uh, I'll save my map. And uh, sooner or later I will uh, will complete this. I think I'll, I'll do most of my tutorials on this map and uh, in the end I'll, I'll release it and uh you can you can play it and uh have a blast playing it <laughs>